Hey, what's up, everyone? So, some interesting news just came about from the by Daily themselves. Basically, they just announced that um, Behavior has been working with Boss Protocol with the NFTs for a while now. Basically, just they had to get Pinhead in the game by doing this NFT thing. And I'll, I'm going to read it. Behavior worked with Boss Protocol over several months to adapt in-game models released as NFTs and approve them prior to the release of Pinhead in, in a DVD. But NFTs have a chance to grant access to the Hellraiser chapter of FBBD. Park Avenue Entertainment and Boss Protocol are great partners and it's been a pleasure to work with them to bring Hellraiser to DVD. Find out more here. This has been a thing for like a, a while now. Um, this, I'm sure everyone already like knows about this. Uh, I'm not going to go over it because I think everyone and their grandparents like like know about this. It's basically just telling you like what's the benefits of getting NFTs, which basically nothing. No one cares. Anyways, um, no one wants to buy an NFT. I don't want to buy an NFT. Maybe not. Maybe you guys want to get an NFT. I don't. I don't want to get an NFT. I'm. Not, it's like a million bucks just to get a fucking digital copy of some artwork or of of the model of Pinhead. Do you want to get the digital copy of Pinhead's face for like two hundred bucks? I don't think so. But anyways, that's basically confirming that behavior has been working with with these NFT people. Far before the release of the Hellraiser chapter. So this is actually not <laughs> some good news. Everyone's kind of outraged about this. Um, I wanted to cover this earlier, but I was at school. And I was just like browsing Twitter. And I just found out about this. I'm like, oh my god, I, I gotta get home real fast and talk about this. <laughs> this is pretty bad. <laughs> For multiple reasons. One, this confirms that Behavior was already working on this. Like, they, already, they were already... like. They already knew about the NFT thing prior to releasing the Hellraiser chapter. Like, while they're working on it, they already knew about the NFTs. Which means that they knew that this was going to damage the environment. That's probably one of the biggest reasons why this is pretty bad. And this, this is probably why it looks bad for behavior. Because they're basically damaging the environment intentionally. Like, they could have, like... Like, before we thought that they had no choice. As in, they, they were already working on it. But like at the end, they all they had to do was just give the models over because it was in the contract. The second, pro the second thing is that Steam, uh, does not allow games to have any involvement of NFTs. Steam doesn't allow games to be involved with NFTs, and if they are, then they get they get removed from Steam's list. So this is a pretty bad time for them to, an to announce this because Steam might actually take down this game so that's not that's pretty bad and it's not like that they just gave the models and that's it buying these nfts gives you access to the hellraiser chapter which is basically a direct involvement with the nfts themselves which doesn't look good for behavior like steam or was it valve valve could take down this game from the steam list which could be very bad for like a lot of people um i was reading some of the comments like i'll go through them like Everyone's pissed. Everyone wants to get like a refund. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. This is obviously like I was like I even tweeted this. Like this looks so scripted too. Like they were clearly forced to put this because, yeah, it's clearly forced and scripted. <laughs> They're talking in a third person, by the way. Behavior, yeah. It could, yeah, but uh, clearly. I don't think they're happy about this. I don't think Behavior was, like, happy to do this. But if they weren't, they could have pulled out and just not done this chapter. And then, like, they just wanted to... I feel like they just did it for the money at this point. Because they didn't need to do this. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna end it here. I'm just, I can just keep on talking for, over and over about how bad this is. But, yeah. I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, behavior should like you know think about what they like think about what they've done here. Maybe they should make a response and talk about they made a mistake. They clearly made a mistake here. This wasn't like good for anyone. But anyone, anyway, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully, I don't know if Dead by Daylight is gonna get screwed over by this like from Steam or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.